Hey guys, what's up at Ryman now? How are you guys coping with the ban over there? We've kind of had nothing to do but study. Dodge me! How have you been? How's it going, Dodge? Dodge! Look what the cat's dragged in. Dodge! Bosh! Who's that? A rhyming old boy or something? Why, hey man, how you been keeping? Dog! Good to hear from you. You guys haven't changed at all. It's just like the old days. You fancy meeting up, like? Let's not go too far. So, who's this Bylong guy? He's our new teammate. I guess you never met Bylong in the end, did you? Dodge used to be on our team. He didn't half give us grief. He's got a huge ego, but he's an alright guy! Well, let's not get all worked up, guys. I like Dodge, even though he can be a bit cold. You guys don't have many good things to say about me, do you? Seems complicated. What are you guys up to these days, anyway? Football, duh. We need to train up so we can be the best ever. So you guys are just playing through the football ban, huh? Uh, whoops. Just matches a band. One day, we'll be able to play again. Then we'll give all your dafties a right good drubbing. So look out! We can practice in secret inside the football stadium. A drubbing, huh? You got a problem with that? We've still got a month before we have to vacate the stadium. So what you're saying is... It's pretty much curtains for Ryman Football Club? Nope. As if it ever stop. That's why we're traveling through time to fix it. Ha 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 ha! Good one, I tore! What? Oh. What's the matter with Luke? Nothing! Oh, yeah. We're not supposed to talk about time jumps. Yes, Otney and Rontfe of Odge Day. Do you get it yet, Arian? My lips are sealed. Until I say otherwise, first years aren't allowed to write on in a link. Time? Jumps? Ah, uh, we were all playing magical hat trick like. It's just part of the game. Just in this video game, you have to travel through time and find all these magicians. That's all. How's Alessandro and the rest of your team? Are they doing okay? They're practicing in secret too, but they're stressing out. It's really focusing their minds though. Everyone's in the same boat then? We better get the Ultimate Eleven under our belts ASAP! Uh, forget that last entry, Dodge! It's just me spouting rubbish! If you say so. I can tell you guys are up to something again, but I trust you. You always seem to do the right thing. Never mind that. What boo you, Dodge? Up to much? Mostly studying. Ha, huh, if you're spending all your time with your nose in a book, I doubt we'll have to worry about Lunar Sea's front line too much. Kaiser, you're getting pretty big for your boots these days. But we'll come out strong. Just you wait and see. Well, bring it on. Spoilers, we're not going to lose. Boo, you guys. Dodge, come and hang around with us next time you're in the area, okay? If I'm feeling generous. Now, Coach Sharp's goggles. Does anyone know why Jude Sharp's goggles are tinted green? Um... Now that you mention it, I'd like to know too! It's a mystery. No one's ever dared to find out. He must be hiding something, though. Maybe he has laser beams in his eyes! No way! His goggles are so scary. You don't see green goggles around so much, do you? Maybe they're not for his eyesight, and they're actually sunglasses. Or maybe he's got some kind of high-tech heads-up display in there so he can see all our game stats. The future is now! Hang on. What if he's actually from the future? I guess that could also be a thing. Come to think of it, I've not seen the Gadgie's face without goggles. What does he even look like? I don't think anyone's ever seen him without the goggles. Oh! Do you think he wears them to hide his face? It makes sense, to be fair. I wonder what his eyes are like. Maybe we could ask Miss Hills. She is his sister, after all. I'm trying to imagine his face without goggles on, but I just can't. Maybe if we look really closely, we could see through them. 
Good idea. Who wants to give it a shot? Ah. Uh, seriously? You mean just walk up to Coach Sharp and stare him right in the eye? I don't think I'd like to try that. I bet he's amazing in staring contests. Surely they wouldn't let you use goggles in a staring contest. He'd have a good poker face. Hey, Wood! Aye, I just want to know the story behind the whole goggles thing, like. Sorry for starting all this. I was just curious. Well, instead of discussing it here, why don't we just go and ask him? You know what? I'll do it myself. What? You're really going to ask him? I don't think that's a good idea. You first years know now. Oh, uh, what's up, Goldie? She's not answering. No good. You know something, Rosie? My lips are sealed. Now you're making me worry. What happened? Mission failed. At least you came back in one piece. What did he say? I went up and asked him. He just told me he had normal eyes. He saw right through you. You know Coach Sharp can read everything on Innerlink, don't you? Whoops! Bit late for the heads up, Rick, mate. Normal eyes? What a cop-out. Eyes are all different. Pardon the interruption. But don't you all have something better to be focusing your energy on? I'm sorry! Says Coach. It won't happen again. Next time, you'll all be in serious trouble. I want no further discussion on this topic. The goggles happen to be a present from Miss Hills. And now, a word from the managers. Please hand in all your uniforms today when you're done with them. If you don't, then they don't get washed and you'll all stay stinky. Got it. Thanks. Thanks so much. You girls work so hard for us. Ah, it's a tough job being a manager. We really appreciate your hard work. Well, we just want to do our best for the team. Yeah, so you better put the same amount of effort in, or there'll be trouble. Uniform number six is missing. Come on, I put in at least 300% last week. Number six? Addy! Nah, I gave mine in yonks ago. Nope. You serious, like? It was in me locker, Soz. That's why it's always important to check these messages. Is there anyone else who forgot to hand their uniform in? I think we're good. By the way, when are you going to put on a performance, hmm? A performance? What do you mean? Isn't that what managers do? Leap into the air and perform incredible feats of acrobatic skill? I think you're confusing managers with cheerleaders. No, thanks. Cheerleading is such a wonderful demonstration of strength and athleticism. Why, it's an excellent sport. I don't doubt it, but that's not what the managers are there for. Yeah, being thrown in the air isn't part of her job description. Shame, really, quite a shame. So, what exactly do managers do? We make the drinks, prepare equipment, wash the uniforms, stuff like that. And take photos. Do you really need to take photos, though? She always sends us the photos after each match, so it's not so creepy. Except, they're almost all shots of you, Ricardo. I guess it's good to have a record of your games, though. The virtuoso is kind of her muse. We take down notes on the other teams, too, so there's that. I see. Is everything okay, Wonderbot? I long for Rosie to take photos of me. I'm beautiful too. I guess you're beautiful in your own way. In my own way? Pretty, pretty, please take photos of me. Be patient. Victor, I've just finished editing the photo of you with your armor fight fighting spirit. What? Isn't it time for my photo to be taken yet? You've not taken a single one yet. I would very much like for you to take my photo. Oh, this is such a great shot. Thanks so much. You're a fan of Victor, JP. Hey, don't ignore me. Does anyone else want any reprints? 
Shall we just hand one out to everyone while we're at it? I highly doubt anyone else needs to have a copy of my photo. Oh, take a joke, Victor. If nobody wants any reprints, come and take a photo of me! Hey! Sorry, I don't take requests. JP, how many more copies did you want? Just the one will be enough. Oh, I do hope I get to armify my fighting spirit someday. I should train harder too. Here of all places! My word! What's wrong, Wonderbot? Brown and pink and green too! What are you talking about? I appear to have found some friends of mine! Friends? There's more than one of you? Why are they all lined up in boxes? Why aren't they moving? I tried to engage them in conversation, but they didn't reply. Have you found some teddy bears? Ahaha! Teddy bears! That must be it! No, no. It must be that they're too shy to talk. Huh? Ah, maybe I ought to introduce myself to them. Wonderbot, I think you're in a shop. If you keep trying to talk to them, you'll get escorted out. Ooh, I just bought two for myself. Oh yeah? Which one did you go for? I went for the little green one. He seems like a sparky fellow. And this natty little yellow chap too. I think I'd choose the green one as well. Careful. What if you get mistaken for a teddy bear and get bought yourself? I don't look anything like a teddy bear. I'm going to take my verdant friend for a drive. See if we can break the ice a bit. Yes, I think we'll get along quite nicely. I have an image in my head of TM Boss being full to bursting with teddy bears! Mr. Nishiki, neither I nor my new friends are even remotely like teddy bears. I just had a great idea. Why don't we give the bears some names? Like, the green wunderbar could be... Grunderbar? Ah, he may well be German. He looks the type to wear lederhosen. But yes, a truly fitting name for my new friend. It says this yellow one was made in France. France and Germany! What diverse new friends I have! What does that make him? Genderbar? It makes him a teddy bear. I'll just pop Genderbar at the front of the bus. He can tell me if there's any incoming traffic. Wonderbar, that's too dangerous. Yes, I suppose he doesn't have a time-travelling license. All right then. He can sit at the back. Now where are we going to sit? I like sitting at the back. He's adorable. Off we go, team. Jean de Bas vanished. I see him. He's on the victor's chair. Not anymore. Now he's on the Romas. He just rolled over towards me. Hello, Jean de Bas. And there he goes again. I'm ready for him. He's on the Rarian's chair. Got him! Huzzah! Do all bears have their seatbelts on this time? They can just easily slip out the bottom. I guess I'm going to need someone to look after them for me. Why not leave them at Windsor Manor? Auntie Sylvia would spoil them rotten. That's a good idea. Very tempting. I'd quite like to be spoilt rotten myself. And the last thread. The young Coach Evans. Coach Evans was just as cool as a kid as he is now. You got to meet Coach Evans as a school kid? I'm jealous. Only Arian and Faye got to meet him? That's not fair! I wanted to meet him too. But we can meet the coach any time, can't we? Um, not the Coach Evans in the present! They want to meet the coach as he was 11 years ago. Oui, that's right. I can't picture Coach Evans being the same age as us. I wasn't much different from you lot. Just a football mad schoolboy, nothing more. I'd still really like to have met you as a boy, coach. Do you reckon fear would take us if we asked? We'd get to meet Coach Sharp and Axel Blaze too. A young Coach Sharp? Come to think of it, there are loads of players I'd quite like to see. Let's ask Faye when we have the chance. Eleven years, that's like a lifetime ago. Oi, are you calling me old? But actually... Yes? Neither Jude nor Axel were at Ryman back then. What? Really? They were? Rent? Sorry, I hit send. Where were they? 
You sure, like? I'm sure. So we can't meet them? Wasn't Axel Blaze Ryman's star striker, though? He was. But Jude and Axel only transferred to Ryman when they were second years. How oh, weird, man. I never knew that. It's also the first time I've heard this. And the chief? What now, Roma? The chief! Can I beat the chief? The chief? You mean... Kevin Dragonfly. Not a transfer student too, is he? No, Kevin was in Ryman Football Club from the very start. Booyah! I want to go and meet the chief! Gotta show him our mad skills! Faye, please will you take us? Now hold your horses! It's very possible to meet your heroes, but you must under no circumstances speak to them! Aw, what? Bit harsh, no? We can't. Wonderbot's right. Really? We can't just go around changing history willy-nilly. With history in its current state, we have no idea what would happen. I suppose that makes sense. So if Coach Evans was in first year? What are you thinking? Then where does that put Miss Hills? Me? Miss Hills would have been at primary school. Primary school? We'd actually be older. Aren't you curious? Yeah, no one said we weren't allowed to look. I veto this idea. And that was all of the main inner link threads in the game. Except, we've got one little surprise for you. Um, so if Bylong was a main feature of all of the blogs in Thunderflash, then why don't we take a cheeky peek at one of the sole ones in Wildfire? Welcome back to Welcome Party. Since Souls joined us, why don't we hold a welcome party for him? We can also celebrate him coming out of hospital. I'm well up for that! Sounds great! Count me in! Really? You'd do all that for me? Yeah, Windsor Manor Flats can hold a big group, so it'll be fine. I got permission from Auntie Sylvia already. Go on. You really love throwing parties, don't you, Arian? Sounds like fun! Well, if it's no bother. You're all really getting into this. Well, why wouldn't we be? It's nice for us to all do something fun together once in a while, yeah? You know what? You're absolutely right. Thanks so much, guys. Food's defo on the menu, Reet. Food too. Bosh, I only ever go to parties for the food. Auntie Sylvia's cooking's the best. She's always happy to cook something up for us. I can't wait. Me neither. Goldie, are you ready? Oh, sorry, wrong one. What? Everything will be revealed when the time comes. E, must be some stonking secret if you can't even tell us. I wonder what they're up to. Need a hand with anything? Nope, you just stay there and look pretty. I'll handle this spot. Excellent work, Jade. Now, follow my example. Wonderbot, you probably shouldn't butt in. Well, excuse me! Really, Wonderbot, it'll be fine. Just relax. Everyone, once we're back in our time, the party's getting started. Hurrah! I'll read. Can't wait. Hee <laughs> hee. I look forward to seeing all your reactions. I wonder what they're up to. Um, thanks a lot for last night. It was good crack. I had so much fun. Ain't no party like a Windsor Manor party! But the food was my favourite part, Bosh. Oh yeah, that food was purely belter. Especially that cake. It was excellent. I agree. Very delicious. Yup. It was such a nice surprise. Hear that, guys? Our guest of honour liked it. I'm glad. We spent such a long time on it. And you made all those banners by yourselves? Yup. He's out of hospital, so we needed to make it extra special. We put a lot of effort into them. Where on earth did you find all that paper? That's a secret. I love those biscuits in the shape of Saul's face! Yeah, there was so much attention to detail. Oui, très mignon. Yeah, 
I really didn't want to ruin it by eating it. I just love hanging out with everyone. It's always such fun. I think we can safely say the welcome party was a huge success. Yep. Right, Soul. Uh, did you want me? I'm saying it's great having you on the team. You got it.